In this video, we'll take a look at using Icinium to build hybrid applications using Apache Cordova as our platform to be able to create the binary files that run natively on devices. Apache Cordova will wrap HTML5 assets into a binary to be able to run on those devices. If you are going to do this yourself, you're going to have to set up your entire Cordova build environment after installing all the different SDKs and all of the different assets to do the individual binary builds, you would then wind up with the actual binaries to be able to run on the devices. Using Icinium, we'll still use the same format giving you a rich IDE to be able to work with your HTML assets in, but also then building your assets into binaries for the iOS and Android platforms. Let's take a look at Icinium and how you can wind up accessing the JavaScript APIs that Cordova provides. If you go up to GitHub, and just type in github slash Icinium, you'll see we actually have a lot of public examples of accessing different APIs in Cordova. Let's take a look at how you can use these samples yourself. I'm going to go ahead and open up the graphite editor, and then I'll go ahead and log in with my Windows Live ID. And from here in the dashboard view, I can create a new project, but this time I want to be pulling from the GitHub location. So I'm going to go over here to clone, and right here all I need to do is put in the URI field of the GitHub repository I'm interested in. So let's take a look at one of the API samples. Here in GitHub is the sample connection API. I'm going to go ahead and get the GitHub URL to that project and copy that in right here. And you notice it picks up the name. I click OK and it's going to go ahead and pull down those different assets for me to work with locally. Now these are read only. You're, you can only pull them down and then you can play with them all you want. But if you want, you could then push a project up into GitHub yourself. If we take a look at the assets that we have, you'll see this is just a very simple HTML5 file where we've actually gone ahead and referenced the Cordova dependencies as well as our own main JS dependency. And all we're going to do here is very simply show, once requested, what the different uh, connection status as well as provider is from the Cordova API. Let's take a look at calling that API. Here's our JavaScript file. So here we have the device ready hook so that we will call our on device ready method and immediately we just new up this helper object of connection app and we start running. Here's our connection app object. And in here we're just going to add an event listener that's going to tell us when the user has gone ahead and clicked on asking the uh, connection status. And if we just come down here you can see it's a very simple call. We call the navigator network and connection type is the property that we care about. Now all of this documentation is viewable if you go to um, the Apache Cordova documentation site you'll see that here's our connection uh, object here and we can find out that the property is the type that we would use here are all the different uh, constants or settings that we could get back from that and then if we scroll down through the different platforms here it even gives a little bit of sample code in a slightly different way to do the same thing that we're doing. So let's go ahead and run this and see what this looks like. We'll run it in a simulator so you can see it. 
and here's the simulator that's popped up. We can see the current connection, that we have a Wi-Fi connection, what time it was last checked, and I can go ahead and check that connection at any time. So if you were to be on a physical device, you could be changing the different types of connection that you may have and, and test out what that connectivity level is. This is a really nice API to be able to know if you are safe to go ahead and start doing some web calls and so on. I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of hybrid applications and accessing the Cordova API. We'd really enjoy your feedback. Please let us know what you think. Thank you.